Hello everyone, welcome back again with us at Military TV. Oil is one of the important strategic energy to guarantee the development of modern industries and economy, and is also an important resource which is scrambled by each interest group in the world. Oil price fluctuation is always regarded as the barometer of worldwide economy, whose change would be the hot issue to be concerned and discussed generally in political and economic circles in every country. To the basic factors that decide the international oil price, some experts believe it lies mainly in the supply and demand. But behind the international oil price fluctuation existed not only the constantly self-adjust between supply and demand on the world crude oil market, but also the strength competition between nations for this reason caused the diversity and complexity of the factors, which affected the international oil price fluctuation. Based on this, we are going to present comprehensively main factors which determine the international oil price fluctuation, so you know what to expect when the seasons change or if tensions build between major oil-producing countries. Here are the factors that affect oil prices rise and fall, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Number 1. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC OPEC influences oil price fluctuations more than any other factor on this list. OPEC is a consortium that, as of 2021, is made up of 13 countries – Algeria, Angola, Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Libya, Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, the United States Emirates, and Venezuela. OPEC's commission is to provide stability within the oil market by establishing uniform policies, regularly supplying petroleum to consumers, and ensuring producers receive a fair income. In short, OPEC helps bring order to the oil market. OPEC was formed by five oil-producing countries in the 1960s. According to 2016 estimates, 81.5% of the world's crude oil reserves are located in OPEC countries. OPEC does not decide how much oil costs, but can influence prices by controlling oil production. They aim to set production to meet global demand, but if they increase or decrease oil production levels, they can affect the price of oil. Generally, when production goes down, prices go up. According to 2018 statistics, OPEC controls almost 80% of the world's supply of oil reserves. The consortium sets production levels to meet global demand and can influence the price of oil and gas by increasing or decreasing production. OPEC makes decisions based on current supply and demand, and also considers future expectations. Before 2014, OPEC vowed to keep the price of oil above $100 a barrel for the foreseeable future, but midway through that year, the price of oil began to tumble. It fell from a peak of above $100 a barrel to below $50 a barrel. OPEC was the major cause of cheap oil in that instance, and it refused to cut oil production, leading to the tumble in prices. Number 2. Supply and Demand Impact As with any commodity, stock or bond, the laws of supply and demand cause oil prices to change. When supply exceeds demand, prices fall. The inverse is also true when demand outpaces supply. The law of supply and demand is a basic rule in oil economics and a major factor when it comes to price. Demand refers to the amount of a product consumers want and are willing to pay for. Supply refers to how much of a product is available. The relationship between supply and demand affects all commodity prices, including oil. The dramatic drop in oil prices in 2014 has been attributed to lower demand for the oil in Europe and China coupled with a steady supply of oil from OPEC. The excess supply of oil caused oil prices to fall sharply. While supply and demand impact oil prices, it is actually oil futures that set the price of oil. A futures contract for oil is a binding agreement that gives the buyer the right to buy a barrel of oil at a set price in the future. As spelled out in the contract, the buyer and seller of the oil are required to complete the transaction on a specific date. Let us give you a few examples of how supply and demand work. High supply and low demand equals low prices. When the supply of a product increases, the price goes down. 
When the price goes down, the demand goes up because consumers want to pay a lower price. Low supply and high demand equals high prices. When there is too much demand for a product, the supply will run low. When there's not enough of a product to meet the demand, prices increase. When prices increase, the demand eventually decreases because people do not want to pay high prices for the product. Prices will fall once demand goes down. Equilibrium as the goal. When equilibrium is reached, the amount of available supply equals the demand. Number 3. Natural Disasters Natural disasters are another factor that can cause oil prices to fluctuate. For example, when Hurricane Katrina struck the southern U.S. in 2005, affecting almost 20% of the U.S. oil supply, it caused the price per barrel of oil to rise by $13. In May 2011, the flooding of the Mississippi River also led to oil price fluctuation. The COVID-19 pandemic is another example of a natural disaster, but unlike nearly all other natural disasters that raised the price of oil by creating a supply shock, the COVID-19 disaster created a demand shock. Many flights, both international and domestic, were canceled on orders of governments to close borders. As a result, gasoline consumption in the U.S. fell off a cliff. Consequently, gasoline refiners did not want to take oil that they couldn't process for sale, and oil reserves began to pile up at the WTI storage facility in Cushing, Oklahoma, where oil is stored for delivery in the U.S. In response to the crisis, major oil producers sidelined production. Number 4. Political Instability from a global perspective, political instability in the Middle East causes oil prices to fluctuate as the region accounts for the lion's share of the world's oil supply. For example, in 2013, the cost of crude oil went up to over $115 a barrel because traders bid up the price of oil after the U.S. announced they would use airstrikes on Syria. Although Syria is not a major source of oil, traders worried how an airstrike would affect other oil-producing countries, including Iran. And the last factor which determines the international oil price fluctuation is number 5. Changes in the energy industry Changes in the energy industry affect prices as well. As more people turn to the sustainable options such as wind or solar power, the demand for oil diminishes. It's estimated that by the year 2022, renewable electricity will grow 40% around the world. Another area that limits the need for oil and causes prices to drop is the increase in the availability of hybrid and electric vehicles. In short, the energy industry is sure to evolve and experts are watching to see what role oil will play in the future. But for now, the oil markets remain a powerful force in the world of economics, geopolitics, and your commuting budget. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click other awesome videos.